Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to be starting a new tiny little series that I will do every once in a while, which is going to be about reviewing forgotten items in Hypixel Skyblock and seeing why they became forgotten or, you know, is there any bugs with them, like what went wrong with those items basically is what we're going to be looking at. So we have three different things here today, two are from Ender Slayer, we have the Sin Seeker Scythe, the Soul Esk Ward, and then the Spider Queen's Stinger. So, these things suck. <laughs> Let's get into it. Alright, starting off with the Spider Queen's Stinger. This is obtained through doing Arachne bosses. It's a pretty cheap craft. This bow only costs around 200,000 coins to actually craft, but the problem with this bow is the ability that it has on it. Arrows shot using this bow have an aurora around them that deals damage to nearby enemies. The problem with that is the fact of you shoot something, the aurora kills it. And the problem with that is that even on a mob that has more HP than what the aurora is doing, is the aurora counts as a damage tick for the mob, meaning that the arrow never actually makes contact with the mob so your arrow can never crit because it's just the aurora that's procking and the aurora can't crit so basically this bow is like you, you can't do any damage with it like sure you can miss and it still hits but if you hit something right on like that like it'll go through but it still won't make proper contact with either of them just because the aurora ability will kill it instead so that's what's wrong with the Spider Queen Stinger, because, like, you can't do any damage with it. There's, there's no point to have it. So next up, we're going to be talking about the Sin Seeker Scythe. And the problem with this thing is, first of all, it's confusing to understand. Second of all, it sucks. So, again, the main problem with this is, once again, the ability, the Sin Recall Transmission. You zap forward, so basically just TP four blocks forward, and then you teleport back to where you are, and it creates that little red slash as you saw there. Now, if I TP through a mob, it'll kill that mob. And the nice thing about that is if I really wanted to, for example, I could slash through a mob, swap to a different weapon, and then, you know, do the damage from that other weapon. But it doesn't stack, so it's not like sword swapping. So it's just basically... I don't know, man, you can you can teleport and then switch, like, there's not really much you can do with it. There's probably some form of, like, triple sword swap that you could pull off with that, maybe. But for every day use, like, there's not really much you're going to get done with this. Because, like, you're not... You're not just going to be teleporting through mobs, waiting there, and then just going back. It's just, it's a whole thing. It's not useful in the slightest. Okay, and finally, we are here with the Soul S Ward. Most definitely the most useless of the three. So it has it has the ability Soul Ward, which you become invulnerable for five seconds, which you can't deal damage. So in that sense, it's kind of like a Wither Cloak Sword. Um, but then you also, you know, it halves your damage for two seconds afterwards, which isn't really a huge problem. The issue I have with this is either A, you could just use a Wither Cloak Sword. Or if you need just another life, there's also weapon or armor pieces called the Bonzo Mask. And if we come over here, there's also the Spirit Mask, which both give you second lives, and you can use both of them. So my question is, why would you ever need this? And the, the real answer is you, you wouldn't. That's why it's a forgotten item. It doesn't have a use in reality. If any of these things are ever going to become useful, they would have to get a, some form of rework. Um, so, like, it's just, the odds of these items ever being useful, it's just, it's not there. So we, we figured out why these items are forgotten. Yo, end of the video, this is where Faceless is now going to ask for you to like and or subscribe, but also, down in the comments, let me know what other forgotten items I should look at and we'll see if they have any form of use.